Good morning and blessings to everybody as we gather for today's prayer service. Uh, let's go ahead and begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 3. O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him and God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried aloud to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I woke again, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all round. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be on your people. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark, the 12th chapter. And he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted in a vineyard and put a fence around it and dug a pit for the winepress and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country. When the season came, he sent a servant to the tenants to get the, from them some of the fruit of the vineyard. And they took him and beat him and sent him away empty-handed. Again he sent to them another servant, and they struck him on the head and treated him shamefully. And he sent another, and they killed. And so with many others, some they beat and some they killed. He had still one other, a beloved son. Finally he sent him to them, saying, They will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. And they took him and killed him, and threw him out of the vineyard. What will the owner of the vineyard do? He'll come and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they were seeking to arrest him, but fear the people, for they perceived that he had told the parable against them. So they left him and went away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What is baptism? Every Christian also ought to have at least an ordinary brief instruction about the sacraments. Because without them, he cannot be a Christian. Unfortunately, up to now, no instruction about them has been given. But in the first place, we take up baptism, by which we are first received into the Christian church. Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Mark, Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Here, in the words of Matthew and Mark, stand God's commandment and institution. Let us not doubt that baptism is divine. It is not made up or invented by people. Baptism is no human plaything, but it is instituted by God himself. Furthermore, baptism is most solemnly and strictly commanded so that we must be baptized or we cannot be saved. It is of greatest importance that we value baptism as excellent, glorious, and exalted. We contend and fight for baptism chiefly because the world is now full of sects, arguing that baptism is an outward thing and that outward things are of no benefit. But let baptism be a thoroughly outward thing. Here stands God's word and command, which institute, establish, and confirm baptism. What God institutes and commands cannot be an empty thing. It must be a most precious thing, even though it looked like it had less value than a straw. 
to be baptized in God's name is to be baptized not by men, but by God himself. Therefore, although it is performed by human hands, it is still truly God's own work. From this fact, everyone may readily conclude that baptism is a far higher work than any work performed by a man or a saint. For what work can we do that is greater than God's work? From this now, learn a proper understanding of the subject and how to answer the question of what baptism is. It is not mere ordinary water, but water comprehended in God's word and command and sanctified by them. So it is nothing other than a divine water, not that water in itself is nobler than other water, but that God's word and command are added to it.
Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you, for you answer me. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and to renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. Almighty God, you exalted your Son to the place of all honor and authority. Enlighten our minds by your Holy Spirit that, confessing Jesus as Lord, we may be led into all truth. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and most gracious God and Father, we implore you to turn the hearts of all who have forsaken the faith once delivered to your church, especially those who have wandered from it or are in doubt through the corruption of your truth. Mercifully visit and restore them that in gladness of heart they may take pleasure in your word and be made wise to salvation through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. 
Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.